हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज हर्षिता भार्गव फ्रॉम जितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंटरनल एनालिसिस एनालिसिस ऑफ एनी बिजनेस एंटरप्राइज इन्वॉल्व्स टू स्टेजेस इंटरनल एनालिसिस एंड एक्सटर्नल एनालिसिस वी नो दैट अ बिजनेस एनालाइज इटसेल्फ इंटरनली in order to find out its strengths and weaknesses whereas external analysis or environmental analysis is performed or carried out to find out opportunities and threats present in the environment for a business organization here in this session we will talk about internal analysis which is the systematic evaluation of the key internal features or the important internal factors of an organization there are four broad areas that need to be considered for internal analysis number 1 the organization resources and capabilities the way in which the organization coordinates its key value adding activities the structure of the organization the characteristics of its culture and the performance of the organization as measured by the strength of its product now please note here the organization coordination for its key value adding activities the structure and culture of the organization and performance of the organization these all are dependent upon the capabilities and competencies of an organization let's talk about resources now resources are assets employed in the activities and processes of the organization they can be tangible or intangible tangible resources are those which can be seen which can be touched like land building chairs tables and all property which can be seen and touched and intangible resources are those which cannot be touched which cannot be seen but without them a business cannot run efficiently for example the goodwill or reputation of the organization the caliber hard workingness of the employees of an organization their intelligence so these are some of the example of intangible resources of an organization now these resources can be obtained externally or can be internally generated resources can be specific and non specific specific resources can only be used for highly specialized purposes and very important to the organization in adding value to goods and services adding value to goods and services in return creates customer loyalty and customer delight assets that are less specific are less important in adding value but are more flexible in nature so the broad categories of resources are human resources financial resources physical resources technological resources and informational resources these resources are important part or important components of internal analysis and these resources are dependent upon each other so that organization can run efficiently audit of resources would be likely to include an evaluation of resources in terms of availability quantity quality extent of employment sources control systems and performance so all these factors need to be considered while analyzing various resources of the organization now let's talk about competencies and capabilities competencies and capabilities are real assets of the organization like industry specific skills 
relationships, organizational knowledge, which are largely intangible and invisible assets. So these are competencies and capabilities. And these will be internally generated or may be obtained by collaboration with other organizations. That means competencies and capabilities can be generated internally or can be obtained from outside the organization. Core competencies and capabilities are combinations of resources and capabilities which are unique to a specific organization and responsible for generating competitive advantage. In other words, competencies and capabilities results in creating competitive advantage for an organization. This is very important diagram which depicts the relationship between resources, capabilities and value adding activities of the organization. We can see here human resources, financial resources, physical resources, technological, legal and informational resources. These are tangible and visible assets when they are combined with intangible and invisible assets like capabilities and competences which are industry specific skills, relationships, organizational knowledge. When these tangible resources are combined with intangible resources of an organization, these create customer benefits or value added to the organization. Now, kindly note here, tangible resources provides inputs to the firm's processes and their integration with intangible resources creates value added activities for the organization. So, we can say that value adding activities or customer benefits which is shown in customer delight and customer loyalty as well as in satisfaction are the result of the right integration of tangible and intangible resources. And this interrelation makes an important or significant part of internal analysis. We have studied about the value added activities that is also known as the value chain which is the chain of activities which results in the final value of a business product and this value added is indicated by the revenues or sales minus cost. That means when we deduct cost from sales and revenues, we will get our profits or losses. So our profits or significant margins is shown by value added. So this was all about internal analysis. Thanks for watching the session.